Hey everyone, Boom Shaka here. I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are. This is a new video and um, I want to speak to you guys in this video about how when I was younger and people would call me selfish, I used to go into the spiral of depression and think that, oh my god, I'm the most horrible person on this planet, I'm so selfish, you know, I only care about myself, like blah 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 blah. So, my parents knew that if they wanted to emotionally blackmail me or control me or you know, make me feel bad, <laughs> make me do something that they wanted me to do, they would just call me selfish and instantaneously they'd be like, okay, you know what, I'm not selfish, I'll do it, blah, 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 blah. Yesterday, I think, or you know, this morning, an individual messaged me and said uh, on my YouTube channel, you know, you're so selfish, and that's all they said. Obviously, it was a troll, um, and they were maybe trying to get at me somehow or just, they were just kind of putting their own emotion into it, you know, they themselves don't like being called selfish, so they're calling me selfish, believing that it's going to be the same way for me. And it's interesting because I had to instantly laugh, because <laughs> I like being called selfish now. And I think this is really important for INFJs to realize is that being selfish for us is, it's okay, so imagine this, like most people, for them being selfish is at, at this level, right? So they're here, and this is what being selfish for them means. For us, being selfish is like at a completely different level. So it's really hard for us to be selfish, right? We can be selfish, and that's all right. A lot of times I feel like it's actually really important to be selfish in this world in order to get your stuff done. You know, it's really easy for an item to give, to give, to give, to give, to do everything for the people that they love. And unfortunately, what people do because this is what people do, this is what humans are, I don't berate them for it, this is what I would do as well, is that they take advantage of that, you know, if you're going to give and give and give, I'm going to take and take and take. And a lot of people just take, keep on taking advantage of it over and over again. And we give and we give and we give and we exhaust ourselves, we burn ourselves out, we get tired, so tired, guys. But nothing happens. They, they still want to receive, they still want more and more and more. And so... What I've noticed is that the more selfish I am, the happier I am. And I'm literally not even kidding you. As an INFJ, that's a big deal to say out loud. That's actually so horrible for an INFJ to say because INFJs hate being selfish. It's like one of those derogatory terms to us, derogatory, that is literally like saying the worst thing on this planet to us. You can tell us everything else. You can tell us that, you know, we're not unique, we're boring, we're ordinary, we're all that. That's fine. If you call us selfish, it's like basically like just our Achilles heel. You're just killing us right where it hurts, right? So we hate it. And I've been noticing that most of the people who message me on the YouTube channel about the INFJ stuff is they all complain. They all are, are talking about that. That you know they have such a hard time just taking time for themselves and being on their own and and not being not worrying about being selfish. You know not giving too much of themselves away. And I want to remind you guys that, you know, the reason INFJs, if we can really take care of ourselves and do real work, INFJs can do a lot of good work in this world. But what happens to most of us is that we end up taking care of other people and not actually doing our work because we're so intent and so enamored with the idea of doing things for other people, taking care of other people, being there for other people. So we do that over and over and over again. We burn ourselves out. We don't have any time or energy left over for our own work. And because we're idealistic people, we're always looking at the world in an idealistic way and we want to make the world more idealistic, right? So we're great entrepreneurs if we can let ourselves be that. If we're great writers if we let ourselves be that. We can be great actors and creative people if we let ourselves be that. But what happens with most of us is that because we're spending so much time working on our, our husband's business or our partner's uh, work or creativity, whatever it might be. We're always working on other people's stuff, helping them out with it, that we forget that there's stuff that we need to do ourselves, that we should or try, we could be doing ourselves on this planet. Um, we have so many skills and talents that we don't get to use because we're spending all of it on taking care of other people. And so I really want you guys, if you're not an MC, to remember this, that try being more selfish. Actually, Try being a lot more selfish because even if you even if you try being a lot more selfish, you're gonna end up being really, 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 really tiny bit selfish. And you know, guys, if you call me selfish or if you troll me and call me selfish, 
don't think that it's going to be a bad thing for me. I actually like being selfish. I'm sorry. I want to be selfish. I want to be on my own. I want to do things for myself. I want to work on my own stuff. I want to be the most selfish person on this planet. And even then, I'll still be a very giving person. And so don't do that to yourself as an INFJ. You know, stop doing that to ourselves. We really need to stop doing that to ourselves. Stop feeling guilty for taking time for yourself. And stop letting other people make you feel guilty for that. It's really interesting because my mother always does that to me. She always tries to make me feel guilty for being selfish. And in the past, I would be really upset about that because I wanted, because I love them and I want to be there for them as much as possible. But I don't want to entirely give up entirely who I am, which is what she's done, obviously, because mothers do that. You know, mothers are amazing. I love them. But that's the reason I'm not a mother. You know, that's the reason I'm not going to have kids, is because I don't want to give myself to them. Um, I refuse to do that. You know, I, I don't want to give myself to another individual. That's the reason I'm not in a relationship either, because I don't want to. I, as soon as I get into a relationship, I just go into that mode of giving myself away. I don't want to do that. I want to be selfish. I want to work on my writing stuff. I want to work on my creative stuff. I spend so much of my life working on things that other people wanted me to do. So much of my time working on other people's stuff. So much of my time working on things like trying to go to med school because my parents wanted me to go to it. Working so hard in my youth, studying all the time to get into med school. And I didn't even care about it. I just wanted to do it because my parents wanted me to do it. So much time wasted when I could have been writing, when I could have been creative, when I could have been working on stuff that I cared about. I'm not gonna do that anymore. You know? So if you wanna call me selfish, as an INFC, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it as a compliment. And I'm gonna thank you because I want to be selfish. I wanna be more and more and more selfish every single day. Doesn't mean that I'm not gonna take care of the environment. Doesn't mean that I'm not, not going to love anyone anymore. Doesn't mean that I don't care about the people that I really care about. But the paramount thing, the first person that I'm gonna always pay attention to is going to be myself. My needs and my stuff and my talents and whatever it might be. And I know a lot of people are probably listening to this and thinking, oh my God, you're so selfish. How can you say that? You know, the only the point of being on this planet is to serve other people, blah, blah, blah. And I want to remind you guys of this fact that you can't serve other people if you're empty yourself. And what an energies do is that they are unable to serve other people properly because they're completely empty on the inside. Because they've given so much of themselves away that they are not taking care of themselves enough. That they're so empty. Guys, you need to refill yourself. You need to take care of yourself. Self-care. I'm going to repeat this over and over again in all my videos because self-care is so important. And the first step of self-care is realizing that you need to take time off for your own stuff. If you have a husband and you're helping him with his business, awesome. If, you're, if that's important, you do it. But do not forget to take time off for your own writing, for your own creative work, for your own stuff. If you have something that you really want to work on, don't delegate it to the back corner for everyone else's needs. Stop doing that. And don't ask me to do that. Right? Don't ask me to do that because I'm not going to do it. And then you're going to be disappointed. And then we're not going to be friends anymore or you know, we're not going to be really you know, friend, acquaintances or whatever it might be. I'm not going to lose out on that, but you are. Because I am a good person and it's good to have me around. It's good to have an INFJ around. But if you are going to say things or do things that are going to drive us away then it's your loss because we're not going to notice it guys we're not going to notice it because we don't notice when people leave and come because people leave and come all the time it's just normal to us we slam the door in people's faces they leave you know we, we don't talk to them they don't talk to us people leave people come we get new friends we get old friends it just happens all the time it's a cycle and it doesn't bother us it doesn't bother me at least and i know a lot of my energy so it doesn't bother i don't care and come and go but I need to make sure that I take care of myself. And yeah, yeah, definitely, that is being selfish. But that's the point of it. That's the reason I'm doing it. Because I spend so much time on other people, I really need to do my work right now. I'm already halfway through my life, I think, and I might have a few years left. I don't know how many. I'm not going to waste them anymore on other people's stuff. I need to work on my own thing. And that's it. And that's the end of it. There's no argument with it. There's no talk about it. There's no like, oh, maybe you should get married. Maybe you should. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. I've already made my decisions. I've already talked about it. I've already done all that stuff. 
everything has been settled. And so we're here right now in this moment in time. There's no need to go back and forth about it. And I want you guys to realize as INFJs as well that that's something, that's a point where you guys need to reach as well. Because even though you might think that you're being really selfish, you're not. You're still being given. It's just our levels are completely different. We're over here and everyone else is over here. So we always, even if we kind of go a little bit lower, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal at all because we're still giving to the world. And I think one of the most important things as human beings is the fact that we need to be held happy. Everyone always thinks that, you know, we need to take care of everyone else and then we can, and then we can think about our own happiness, especially as INFJs. I think if you're going to do that, you're going to wait forever because most people are not going to be happy. You're never going to be able to make them happy and you're never going to get to your own happiness, right? And then that's what you waste because you spent all your time working on someone else's stuff when you could have been working partly on your th things as well. And why do that? You know, why, why do that to ourselves? Why do we do this to ourselves? I, I don't know. We, we, that's the way we are. But I want to remind you guys to perhaps dial it back a bit. Just dial it back a tiny little bit and start working on your own stuff right now, in this moment in time. No excuses and no need to explain yourself, no need to justify it. It's your time, it's your energy. Why shouldn't you be spending it on your stuff? Why should you be spending it all on other people? Why? What's the point of that? I mean, are other people doing that for you? Are they really doing that for you? If they are, then give a little bit to them, but don't give completely to them. It doesn't make any sense, guys. I know as an INFJ, that's what we do, but we have to stop doing that. There are gifts that we have that we need to contribute to this world that we're not. And so we need to take the time to do that right now, in this moment in time. I hope this makes sense to you guys. I know it's a, a little bit of a topic where it irks us a little bit. It hurts our heart. And, you know, I, I know I don't like talking about it, but it's important. Yeah. I hope that you guys have an amazing day wherever you are. If you guys want to join my team, you can join it at patreon.com slash boomshaka. And I'll talk to you guys next time around. Bye for now.